administration and they know that look you know this all couldn't just come by chance design indicates a designer so for those people who want to live by the game plan that was originated by the one who created them if we are God conscious people people who want to get close to the one who created us is this a way that can bring us by by watching this being involved in this in any way is this pleasing or displeasing totally to the one who created us well as far as Islam is concerned there is really no there is really no room for arguments there it's done it's it period is, it is it is extremely evil so if you got a, a wife and husband or you by yourself there's no excuse for this no they're right? not 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 at all not so how about self-pleasure in Islam uh, self-pleasure well it depends on what you mean by self-pleasure yeah um, okay but remember poor does not really give you it gives you a very momentary self-pleasure mm -hmm. and like I said you know I don't wish to be graphic here but what happens is that porn desynthesizes. Yeah. And, and here is a sad fact. You know what? Soft porn, the stuff that we watch on TV, is becoming so unbelievably hardcore in such a way that the porn industry is now competing with what we see on regular TV. Because regular TV is just getting really bad. So now, a regular TV is becoming our soft porn that is available to everybody out there. But then you get used to that. So what happens is that we need to, you know, uh, because of the excitement is gone, we need to come up with other creative ways. So that is why, for example, I come from California, and we've got the San Gabriel Valley, and that is the biggest porn industry in the world, where they make about 15,000 movies a year. Wow. That's just in San Gabriel Valley. Mm -hmm. There is a website, a porn, dedicated to porn website, that comes up every 39 minutes. At every given minute, there are 29,000 people searching for porn. On daily basis, it is 68 million people looking for porn. Now, the sad fact is that 160,000 of this is people looking for child porn. So what happens is it has really killed the natural stimulants in a person. So now we need to find other ways to excite that person. So what would be exciting? Well, you know, after a while, it just gets to be all the same because there is really that. So what you do is that you become creative. But in that creativity where you're trying to solicit new viewers or keep the ones that you have, what you get at is into grounds where it is not acceptable. Um, they have the, the, the PCP now, or the PCP, which is the uh, pseudo-child pornography. And this was actually a case that was brought by Congress against the porn industry. And that is, you cannot use children in porn because that is illegal. That would be considered child rape and molestation. So what the porn industry has done, two things. They bring these young people who are age-wise, they are legal, but looks-wise, they have got the faces and the bodies of people who are minors. So they would advertise it as barely legal. And again, this is to solicit people who would actually take a joy out of watching child porn. And the other thing that they did is that they animated children in these acts. And actually, the, the, it, it was uh, the Supreme Court said that, said that was legal because you're not using real humans at that, at that point. So they refer to this as PCB pseudo-child porn. And yet, that is, very, that is becoming popular amongst the people. So what can a person do? You talked about, and, and briefly, we're almost out of time. Talk to us about the five principles. And then towards the end, I heard you mention that, that very, very important one that we're talking about, subjugation of one's passion. So right. can you start from number one and get to number five? And then how can a person really develop control over one's desires to leave off this evil vice? Yeah. See, by, by the end of the day, you know, Muslims speak about, you know, the five, uh, the five pillars and the five... Uh, articles of faith and all that. But by the end of the day, we are really after five principles by which a person is to govern their life. And that is emphasizing and ascertaining the oneness of God, recognizing that there is a creator out there and that creator has given us the blueprint that you have spoken about. The second one is the subjugation of passion. Be in control over your passion rather than being guided by your passion or being guided by your lust and your desires. Number three is the whole idea that you develop that good character about, about, um, about the self. 
there's a you know a lecture that we have on the six C's of character, developing a person's own character. But then again, the person owns character can only manifest itself in how we act around those who are around the people who are um, around us. So that is becoming a source of benefit to mankind, and especially for our Christian friends who are um, watching us out there. That is actually the motto of Jesus, peace be upon him, when he said, وَجَعَلَنِي مُبَارَكًا أَيْنَمَا كُنْتُ And he made me a man of blessings wherever I may be. And we do all of this being God conscious. So these would be the five principles by which we want to lead our lives. So any closing comments and suggestions for the person who's addicted to this and he's having a hard time getting away, what suggestions, what advice do you have for him? You know, I, I, I would say, and, and I thank you for saying uh, to him or her because porn is not only an addiction of men, but women are addicted to it as well. I say that there is really hope. And I would say, please do get the help. Please get professional help. Please see uh, a therapist out there to help you with the, uh, with the addiction. And remember, you know, uh, simply because a person is addicted to it, it does not necessarily automatically make that person inherently bad. But we would say that at this point, we are making poor choices, and there is a way of getting rid of the poor choices by getting the professional help out there. Thank you very much again for being with us. May God Almighty, the Creator Allah, reward you. Thank you. And thank you for sitting tight through another episode of The Dean Show. And Islam, that way of life that I mentioned in the beginning, is calling you to nothing but goodness, to strive and to struggle against a lot of those evil inclinations that you might have. So to do a jihad, yes, yeah, right, a jihad, a jihad against many of these things that you want to do but aren't necessarily good for you. And watching pornography is definitely something that's not good. It's not good for you or society. And if you can't beat the evil that's within yourself, how are you going to beat the evil that's around?